Um, back to T Boys TV, people. I hope you're well. I'm well. Hope you like the intro for these topics that will be coming up. Obviously, it's called T Boy Discusses. I thought of this name to myself. Some people might like it, some people might not. But quite frankly, if they don't like it, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, people, obviously, there's a few topics we're going to get into today. So, the first topic we're going to get into is it is come out today it is official that Trent is out for the Euros um it's a fire injury obviously I'm gutted he will be going uh into rehab I believe uh back at Liverpool so hopefully that all goes well um I think there's talks he might be out for pre-season but I'm not too bothered if he's out for pre-season um as long as he's back to put him in for the Premier League games. Obviously, I don't want to rush him back into the Premier League game. Or Premier League game, sorry, if we need. Well, if he's back by then. But I am just I just hope he's alright. Because, let's be real, Nico Williams is a backup. I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know about that. Um, we might have to go spend, get it right back in the summer. Because... Nico Williams, I feel he is not good enough for the backup right back role. Uh, I think he's a good player, but not not that level. You know what I mean? I think he needs to go out somewhere, even if it's the championship, and just play some football there. But yeah, man, what did I say about this Southgate guy? Why is he try harding in the friendly? Like, I I don't get it, but hopefully this means someone like Lingard will get in the team or Ward Browse. Um, my opinion, it should be Lingard. I said that last night. Um, that Lingard's got to be in the team. Obviously, didn't know that Trent had this bad injury. Obviously, we knew it was he got injured, but we didn't know that it would lead to missing the Euro. So hopefully. Southgate uses his brain and puts Lingard in the team. But, yeah, people. So, oh, Steven Gerrard to Everton. That's a weird talking point that has come out recently. My opinions on it, I cannot see it happening. Um, Obviously, there's talks that he is going to be our manager after Klopp. Obviously, I think that will be years to come. Um, Obviously, Klopp's next aim obviously he still wants to win trophies with us again but his next big aim he said it quite a while ago now is he wants to become the Germany manager but obviously Han Hansi Flick the former Bayern Munich one well now the former Bayern Munich one sorry has now obviously overtook the Germany job so you know um Klopp won't be going there anytime soon, so he's, it looks like he'll be staying at Liverpool, which is great to see. But as I said, Gerald to Everton, I, re I really can't see this because he, well, obviously when he was at Liverpool as a player, the amount of times he adored the club, you know what I mean, turned down Chelsea and he was so loyal to Liverpool. Um, yeah, man, I, I, can, I can't see him doing that. Like, this guy's not, an example of Sol Campbell, like what he did from Tottenham going to Arsenal. Gerard's just not that guy. He's he's such a loyal, passionate guy. Obviously, if you've known me for years, you would know that Gerard is my idol. You know what I mean? Like, I love Steven Gerrard to bits. Like what a legend he is. Um, obviously, I um, remember that moment. Well, I don't remember it because I was young, but. Remember my dad showing me this moment where he was against Luton, and he was like, "Luton are a great side," you know what I mean, with a Scouse accent, like he's got. And then he slipped and went, "Hope that weren't on the telly," and not slipped during the game. Let's get that in, like he unfortunately did against Chelsea. It was during an interview. Oh, that's so funny. But yeah, man, he's just such a legend. Um, obviously he didn't win a league title with Liverpool as a player, but. Obviously, these Everton talks, as I said, I can't see him. And hopefully, when he does hopefully become the Liverpool manager, he can win the title with us as a manager. 
and that'll be brilliant, man. Obviously, unfortunately, as I say, he didn't win it as a player, but if he'd done it as a manager, I think that would be be excellent, and I think that would be harder as we, uh, to do harder than winning it as a player. Sorry, can't even speak. Um, due to obviously, you you've got to have your own plan, your own tactics to doing it, and you got to hope that works. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully one day that can happen. But yeah, man, I, I can't see this happening. And yeah, man, I, I don't even know why it's a discussion like uh, Everton that desperate or, or something like that. Like, come on, he's not. I, I can't see it. Like, I don't know. It's just one of them. But yeah. Now, speaking of a team that is in desperate need of trophies and in talks of getting a very good manager Conte to Spurs now this is looking more likely uh, each day since it's come out um, I my personal opinion on it if Tottenham were to get him this would be crazy but it's one of them where you would need to give him the money so he can get who he wants and really help Tottenham to get success because we all know Tottenham when it comes to success. They're not very good at it in the last decade. Um Yeah man, like if they if they get him this will be crazy. I believe the U former Juventus I I can't remember exactly what he was, but I believe he's went to Tottenham. Um obviously all the eyes are on Levy at the moment if you're a Tottenham fan because Obviously, he sacked Mourinho. Some people were questioning it. Some people were not. From an outsider looking in, obviously, I questioned it. I said about it on a live stream with Lewis uh, and Saga. Not together, but on different ones. I said, I don't know why they done this. Like, considering they were about to... Well, they were in a League Cup final. And Mourinho has a very good record against Pep. Very good record in finals. So... And at the time, City were a bit, you know, so I thought they were going to keep him until at least the final. That's what people, some people think they should have done. Some people just, just stupid and they're like, yeah, just get him out, just get him out. Don't worry about the final that he's led us to, just get him out, which is just stupid if you ask me. But. Yeah, man, and also, what does it mean for Harry Kane? Does it mean he'll stay? Because he might look at the challenge, um, the ambitions, the challenges uh, Conte wants his players to do. And, you know, because when he comes in, he's, well, if he does come in, sorry, he's going to be very strict on them. He's going to want them to get to a certain level. He He's probably, he's that sort of guy who'd want you to get into the top two. Right, you know what I mean? And pff, it's one of them, as I was saying about the money, Tottenham would need to give him money. Let him get rid of players that are just not good enough, like players like Dyer. You know, uh, Doherty's not been good at Tottenham. He was great at Wolves, but Tottenham, it just hasn't worked out for him um, as it stands right now. You know, there's loads of players like, yeah, man, like, it's it's going to be interesting. If it does happen, though, as I said, that'll be, that will be very good for Tottenham. And I'm not going to lie, from me looking at it, that'll be very unexpected I'm sure a few people would agree with me but yeah it's one of those so people the last topic I'm going to talk about is Liverpool related and it looks like Liverpool are going to give Adrian uh, another year contract Uh, this one's a weird one because there was talks a couple of days ago that he's going to be sold Um, I don't know why we're going to extend his contract to be quite honest with you he's 34 getting to that age um obviously he he didn't do too bad in his first season for liverpool obviously winning us a super cup not the biggest uh cup competition well it's basically a pre-season isn't it but he still won us it um but yeah the second season like last season i didn't really think he was all that um even when we was playing Sheffield United, he Liverpool fans were like shaky about him being in goal, including myself. Um, obviously, Alisson 
it's quite injury prone for a keeper. Um, Kelleher had to step in uh, at some points as well as Adrian. I thought Kelleher was excellent, but there's talks we're going to loan him out, um, which I, I don't mind loaning him out because he is still young. He's like 22 or something. But Adrian, I, I feel there's just someone we could get better. Like If you look at uh, Gazanega, the former Tottenham player who's now a free agent, apparently, like, t- 29 years of age, like, that's a, it's an all right age, you know what I mean, just for a backup. And Gazanega, he's a great keeper, I think. Like, obviously, I said it a couple of videos ago, but I don't, I don't know why we're going to keep Adrian. Like, as I said, he's one of them where Liverpool fans, including myself, when he's in goal, it's, it's nervy times, you know what I mean? It's, it's like you're in the Champions League final and you've, you, you've got to win it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's pressure, man. But... Yeah, I, I don't. I really don't get why we're doing that, but it is what it is. Um, does Klopp think we don't need to improve the team? Like, even even Pep, right? Obviously, I don't think he's a great manager like everyone makes out. But one point he does have is you have to improve your team, even if you you've won the league. You know what I mean? Like, because there's always areas to improve and teams will basically find out what you do. So you need to change it up a little bit every now and then. That's basically what he said. I agree with him on that. But Adrian, I, I don't know. Or, or FSG not letting Klopp spend again. Um, the way it's going, it looks like they're not going to. And after all that, oh, we'll, we'll basically pay you back after... The, the Super League bullshit they tried doing. Um, it doesn't look like it as it stands. So I, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, with Adrian getting a new contract. Like, I, don't, I don't get why that is. Um, it, it, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah people. I'm going to wrap the video up there. Um, hope you all enjoyed this topic show. T-Boy discusses. Um we're currently on 193 subs, so we're seven off the next target. So if you could subscribe and share the channel, I'd appreciate it. Obviously, smash a like on this video and all of that. Uh, that video that I was on about is now on 2K, which is insane for a channel like mine. So as I said before, appreciate everyone that's watched it, liked it, and you know, subscribe to it. And obviously I appreciate everyone that has subscribed, literally everyone. Um, but yeah, people, I'm going to wrap the video up there. So as I said, I hope you all enjoyed it and all of that. And I will see you guys soon. So take care and peace.